all of you, I believe, very satisfied. Better Call Saul Season 6 features a rare Jimmy McGill and Kim Wexler scene, and the session makes these married scheming lawyers look way worse. I don't know what to say. I suppose. Just when you thought Jimmy and Kim couldn't sink lower, Better Call Saul Season 6's scene drops them through the floor. Better Call Saul and Breaking Bad are both relatively light in the romance stakes, and even lighter in outright sexuality. What are you doing, detective? What are you doing talking to my client without me present? Bob Odenkirk's Jimmy McGill and Ray Seahorn's Kim Wexler have been romantically involved since season two, but their on-screen intimacy usually involves bathroom mirror teeth brushing or ice cream in bed. Better Call Saul season six's plan and execution makes a rare exception, and though the rutting lawyers aren't in focus, it's a hot and heavy scene nonetheless. After months of careful planning and inventive setup, Jimmy and Kim's big Howard Hamlin con faces one final obstacle at the Sandpiper mediation meeting. Using fake photos and a chemical stimulant, the schemers trick Howard into embarrassing himself and succeed in bringing swift resolution to the case. To experience the action in real time, Jimmy and Kim, thanks to Francesca, have access to the conference call for Sandpiper residents listening in on the mediation. They hear Howard throw a tantrum about Rand Casimiro's non-existent corruption, then listen with giddy excitement as the photos he produces as evidence show nothing more than Jimmy handing a frisbee to a college student. That's supposed to be me? I, uh... By the time Cliff Main addresses the patient listeners to confirm a settlement has been reached, Jimmy and Kim are too busy enjoying their own class action to concentrate on the lawsuit's outcome. It should be stressed that the grossness of Better Call Saul season 6's scene has nothing to do with the participants nor anything concerning the shot's visual presentation. The plan and execution romp is grim because they're still on the line with HHM's Sandpiper mediation meeting during the carnal act. Even if the receiver was muted before getting frisky, it's still pretty dark having the mediation called out blow by blow as the background music of a passionate love-making session. Plenty of folks get down to Barry White or 1990s R&B. Jimmy and Kim apparently prefer the dulcet tones of Clifford Maine announcing settlement details for class action litigation. So brazenly celebrating the downfall of a man they once liked, maybe tolerated in Jimmy's case, is icky enough, but not waiting for the mediation to end and Cliff Maine to announce the result, not even hanging up the phone, before ripping each other's clothes off, makes Jimmy and Kim's crimes in Better Call Saul season 6 so much worse. It demonstrates their perverse enjoyment of wrongdoing and draws a direct link between the excitement of criminality and their magnetism toward each other. The thrill of the act and hearing their victory confirmed only adds to the turn on. Better call Saul's scene tallies neatly with a line spoken by Howard later in the episode. Drunk and defeated, the HHM lawyer accuses Jimmy and Kim of getting off on their illicit actions. Nothing proves his theory more directly and explicitly than having before the scam is even complete. Until now, Kim and Jimmy, the latter with far less conviction, admittedly, have justified their sandpiper con by claiming the old folks will get paid sooner while they can still spend the money. Better Call Saul season 6's sex scene proves that already tenuous excuse completely false. Why not? I'd say you'd be missing a bet. I'm Saul Goodman. Pow! I fight for you. Jimmy and Kim aren't the moral crusaders they pretend to be, nor are they even trying to get rich quick, that sandpiper money would come to them eventually, after all. This is pure compulsive thrill-seeking from two people who love what they do and make love while they do it, 